Hey guys, welcome to Stepping Into Purpose with me, Melissa. Um, to all my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing and welcome to my new page. Um, so you're probably wondering where I am. So <laughs> I realize if I don't do this video today, I might actually not find time to um, to do this. So I'm actually sitting in the back of my car with my my newborn because he was crying he likes feeling the car moving so i'm thinking <laughs> maybe instead of waiting for me to find the perfect setting i might just have to do videos whenever i can and whether uh, it's in my car or i'm in the shop whenever i get a word really um more like a vlogging style so there he is um our lovely little boy he's here now so he's the main project that i have been working on and he's the main reason why i've been quiet um it's been quite difficult yeah it was quite challenging um my pregnancy um i was tired all the time i literally didn't have the energy emotional energy to do anything else and the physical energy to sit down wear makeup and and talk i just wanted to sleep <laughs> and just look after myself and look after my family first and um you know just focus on my spiritual um energy or my spiritual life grow and prepare emotionally spiritually for my newborn now that he's here we've just been trying to settle getting settled into the family with the rest of the girls and you know it's not been easy with the pulling the all-nighters and the early mornings and the school run. so i'm actually on a school run so i thought let me leave early and park and um um and then i'll do a video because i know when i get home things are gonna be hectic my battery is running out for some reason i've just not being able to put my phone on charge so i pray to god that i'll be able to record this before my battery runs out um but then again thank you guys um for just being patient with me i have been getting um questions from some of you in terms of when i was um resuming um my videos to shoot my videos and stuff but i tell you it's been a battle but i thank god that i um where i am today and it's given me the strength to actually shoot a video and to speak with you guys and um you know to to do what i need to do um so yeah that's what's been going on and i just want to say to somebody just stay strong and please be patient with me i have realized that i'm not a person who just uploads videos for the sake of it i don't speak because i need to because i want to speak but i will be shooting videos and uploading videos as and when i can and uh when i feel in my spirit that i have i need to do i don't like posting even on my social media for the sake that oh i've posted something today i mean it's good to be consistent but it's also good to be obedient and to be um to discern when not to speak and when to speak when to actually work on yourself and when to start pouring on a, in other people so that's a, that's another thing also that i need to point out to some of you guys who are out there maybe you you've got projects maybe you speak to people don't speak especially with the word of god for the sake of it when it becomes for the sake of it when it gets to the point where it's for the sake of it then you're missing the point um it doesn't have to be like that but it has to be from god well uh wow i'm actually amazed with what i'm talking about today because i wasn't planning to talk about this i was just wanting to thank god um and to testify that when you do things that please god he will surely reward you and he had this little man here has been our reward and all of the hard work that we have or we had been putting um in planning events you know uh social media lives facebook etc i thank god i mean this is the greatest blessing for this year you know with the whole pandemic situation it's also been crazy but you know what um 
in, in God, all everything worked together for good for those that love the Lord. And that's been my prayer and that's been my verse to go, that everything is going to work together. For me, my heart goes out to everybody who has, um, who has been who has experienced coronavirus or who's had who's lost family members um you know just continue to stay strong bury yourself in the word of god every single day um all the time in your heart check yourself i will do a video and check yourself <laughs> um but you know focus on you don't worry about everything else that's going on around you don't be anxious about anything but you know um pray about everything instead if i tell you how difficult it's been for me to shoot this video i've been tired maybe lazy up three days for me to 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 be able to just speak with you guys and for god to give me the strength and the ability and the time and you know the the place to shoot because i was thinking at home you know I'm, I'm i've got 50 million things that i need to and also i need to rest because i'm still in my fourth trimester but you know what god is good and he has allowed today is the day you know today is the day um it might not have been my time but i am believing that this was his day maybe that he wanted me to 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 share what has been going on in my life but the good thing is there is a new thing that the lord also is doing in in us me as in me uh, my husband is a couple so uh, we're just going to be you know having bible study sessions on my um my podcast you know we're just going to be talking about different things not particularly marriage i mean we've been there we will share what we learned i mean so far but not like necessarily giving advice or anything um but just sharing our journey you know our event what we've learned from there etc if you just click the link in the description box there's an intro um that's already uploaded on there you can get a rough idea on what exactly we might be covering i will be inviting some guests or so some of my friends i know i had the sisters get together um afternoon tea so i'm hoping i'll get either all the girls or some of the girls to come and join me on my podcast so that we talk about it together and you know we tell you what uh, we learned and what god did what god revealed to us on that day it was a, we saw the hand of god and it's something that i want to share you know with you um in great depth so yeah thank you guys for tuning in today thank you for being patient i know i'm not the most consistent person on earth but then again i told you i don't speak for the sake of it i like and i enjoy speaking when it's only from god and when it's the time to speak because um you know you might end up saying things you're not supposed to say but then again i also noticed that even if i wasn't um active or i wasn't active on my social media i realized that the word of god is active at all times it never it, when you're doing the things of god it never goes it never goes down the drain it never you know you never lose anything it's like how can i put it oh um so pretty much what i'm trying to say is when you you preach or anything the word is continuously active even till you die i remember seeing some some likes and some comments on some of the the posts i had posted a long time ago so it was my my social media accounts were still ministering even i wasn't active as a as a person but the word of god was still active and was still working so yeah uh, i think it's time for me to go thank you guys